Right, what this is going to be is a quick introduction into how to use controller. So the first thing is I'm on the website here. I'll make that bigger so you can see it better. And we're going to need to go to the download section and the first thing we need to do is get controller. There it is and as the first problem that you get is that there's hundreds of different builds in here. What you want to go and get is 5.3.201, this one here. And save that. That particular version, 5.3.201, is the most generally considered the most stable at the moment, and it's the one I use to build the panel. So that's the one we're going to use. If we now go back to the downloads and go to panels, there we go, and then here's all the panels that you can download that will run inside controller. Go to my one, hit the download link. download it, save the file, there we go. So now if we go into our downloads folder, we've got, uh, yeah, I've got two versions because I downloaded it earlier. If we run the controller installation, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to untick the 32-bit, the docs and examples, and the desktop shortcuts, and here on the VST section, I'm going to untick the 32-bit version as well. So all I'm going to install is the 64-bit binary and the 64-bit VST because I'm running 64-bit Windows so they're, they're the only two bits that I need so I'm going to go next and then it's going to go through the installation process but I'm not going to do that because I've already got it so you can carry on through there just going OK 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 to all the default locations I'm going to cancel yeah I'm going to quit that now I'm going to run it up and when you first run up controller if you've never run it up before what you'll be faced with is wait for it there we go a basically a complete blank program this is just the controller is the host effectively for all the panels so if we go file open panel and then we go to the downloads folder where I downloaded my panel there and we select that one and we go open and it opens my panel so that's the that's the uh, that's that bit done so what I'm going to mention here now is if sometimes, depending on how the panel's been saved, it might open up like this. If it opens up with this editing section here, this programming section on the right hand side, stop immediately and go panel, panel mode and get rid of it. Because basically, if you're in that mode there, you are, you are editing things. And if I start clicking on here now, it'll, it will think I am programming or editing it. And we don't want that. So we just go panel, panel mode. OK. Now we can use the panel. And the next thing we need to do is set up the MIDI. So under the MIDI section here, we've got input, controller, and output. Now I'm going to set the input device to whichever particular port that I want to use. In my case, it was this one here. Got quite a few. And you see that you get that open OK green bar down the bottom. That means open the MIDI panel OK. And you can double check in here. If you go in here and you see a nice little smiley face against that port, you know that it's correctly and uh, opened up that port OK. Uh, if you get the if you get a red bar across here and you get the um, the frowny face, then something's gone wrong. Probably because that port isn't available because some other program is using it. Um, controller tends to like its its own ports. And then likewise on the output device, I'm going to go and choose exactly the same one there. And again, you see we get the green bar and open OK. And if we go in here into output device, you'll see the nice little smiley face against that uh, MIDI port there. So that everything's fine. In the controller section, I'm going to leave it as device none. Um, for simplicity's sake and for this demonstration, we don't need to configure a controller. Um, Basically, a controller is if you have an external MIDI controller like a Kenton or a, a BCR2000 or something like that, something with knobs and sliders you want to use to access, you know, all the modulators on this panel, then you can set that up in here and you can you can effectively run the panel from a hardware panel. But um, we're not going to do that here, so I'm going to leave that as none. And then uh, the, oh, the other thing I'll mention as well is the channels. So on the input side, I'm running MIDI channel number two. And on the output side, it should be on MIDI channel one. Yeah, 
I found that um, basically on my Yamaha DX11, and not just on the DX11, actually, I've got a sub 37 that does a very similar thing. If you set the MIDI input and output channels on it to be the same channel, like channel one, it, you can end up with weird MIDI feedback loops going on and strange things happening. So I've always found it a lot more reliable if I set the DX11 to transmit on channel two so that the input will be set to two here and set the DX11's MIDI receive channel to be channel one so the output on here will be set to channel one and then that way it works a lot more reliably I found anyway uh, and then all these controls just work everything should be fine and everything should be up and working so there you go that's a basic um, basic introduction how you run it that's standalone mode by the way there's there's a standalone mode and there's the VST mode and at the moment this is just the standalone mode um, the VST, when we did the installation process, we installed the binary, the 64-bit binary, and we also installed the 64-bit uh, VST. So this is the binary, or the standalone version that I've just run up here, which you can you can just run it like this if you want. And the VST version will have been put into uh, the, the, I think it's Program Files x86 VST plugins. That's the folder it gets put in. So if you go into your door and you rescan in there, um, it should come up the controller should come up as a VST and then so you can open your door and then you can insert that controller as a soft synth I think it comes up as and then you can run it from inside the door like that if you want and and opening the panels will be exactly the same and yeah, standalone and VST it's quite similar really it just depends whether you run it inside the door or not okay thanks for watching